Hello, weebs. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, this video will be better than the last one because you couldn't hear some words I was saying during the last one. If you're here, and you have already seen one of the fruits of some of the stuff that I've been working on lately, the programming behind the scenes projects that I've been talking about, and as you can see actually working on, congratulations for being one to see it. Hope you liked it. Now on to the video. Um, this is the first, the beginning of a new, sorry, new direction that I want to take this series of first impression slash reviews, uh, be a bit more professional, be a little bit more uh, thorough and concise with the words that I say with the, with the time that I put into my public thoughts on these games, you know, I've played quite a bit of it, gotten a bunch of different footage of a bunch of different things, like going through my armor and making armor and showing it off a little bit and run around and doing stuff and I put it all together to try to show it off in a an entertaining fashion um so real quick this game is grounded uh released in early access on the 14th of august this year by developed by obsidian published by xbox on just its stuff um, GameCube and the uh, Game Pass is a little survival horror mishmash, mish, mishmash. <laughs> Minecraft, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, um, and a little bit of Far Cry in the Combat? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, so without spoiling anything, there's, there's not much else to say to it though. You're a kid that gets shrunk, you know, in your yard. I don't know if it's the front or the back, but it's your yard. You run around, chop down some grass. You hack at pebbles and little, little quartz pebbles. You make your weapons and your tools, like your axe and your hammer. You make chests and workbenches, and you go around, you fight things, sometimes you do well, and sometimes it's horrifying and there's just four more um, terrible monsters right at your back. Sorry, the, the version I'm watching um, stopped there. And I had to take it back. Stop hitting this thing, please. Me? Sorry. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'll leave it like this. This one should be a good level. But, um... Here you've got your analogy to the, to the deer. With ants, wolves, with the... More douchebag ants. Bears, of course, are are your your spiders. Sheep, um, are the grubs. Uh, and there's there's gnats, which are like maybe a fox. Anyway, you you do stuff. This is it, and it's cool, and it's fun. <laughs> so, you know, where am at in this I need to be a little bit further along actually give me one moment here 
Yeah, and going around seeing analyzing the spider butts and all that. I think I'm caught up here in just a second. It, don't worry about it. Developed by Obsidian, let me tell you a little bit of the effects that I have for this right now. The graphics. I have a 7. Sound design by uh, Justin Bell. I hear he's worked on some pretty cool stuff. I don't know for sure, but I, I recognize his name. So he gets an 8. For both the sound design and the music. The controls, you know, it's just standard. Um... X is your swing Y. Um, I forget. It does some stuff. You got your X isn't your swing. Right trigger is your swing. Left trigger does actions for like stuff. There's a wheel. Um, you drink, you eat, you can throw things. Anyway. It's not, it's not that difficult, this is a good thing, it's, you know, just your standard Minecraft with a little bit of easier quality of life and the, just the way that you interact with things that aren't just blocks. So it's a good, it's a welcome um, adjustment on that genre to me, the survival horror that's Kind of more survival and laid back. Not really too hard, but you can still get decently creative within the universe. So far, anyway. And they only stand to add more stuff to the bundle, of course. Yeah. Bunch of different materials that you can interact with. All that stuff. Um... So far, it runs pretty well on my computer. It has a little bit of an issue where it looks like it's encoding wrong with capturing. Um, that's not going to matter too much to people, so don't worry about it. But And then it ends up looking at, at the end. After I put it into the movie maker and all that. Better than it looks in OBS like it's going to look when it comes out. So. OBS just likes to trick me. Again. <laughs> like you did when I was streaming. And make it look like things are trash when they're not. The takeaway is that it works fine. Um, at about, for me, a medium amount of graphics still works pretty well for my laptop um it could get better optimized over time you know it's still got until 2021 to come out the graphics look nice it's got a little slightly shaded psychonauts vibe um the sound and music design make for a tense atmosphere in the uh Especially in combat against spiders. I think different insects had different tracks for me whenever I was fighting them. Um, it seemed like it. If I recall correctly. Or maybe there's just a different one for fighting and being chased. But. Or maybe there's just like three different combat tracks that cycle through. I'm not sure. <laughs> But there was, there was some interesting music. I got replay value at a, at a 6 because like I personally will be coming back and doing a bunch of different exploring after I do whatever the story there is. You can take your time or go right through the story and still have a lot of time to just run around the yard. And create a bunch of different stuff. There's multiplayer. You can um, go have your friends 
play with you at the opposite end of the map and build your own bases and run into each other and fight or you can be a team throughout the whole thing if you are weird and have a positive relationship with your best friends <laughs> I'm joking but you can build mansions or like a huge fort there are traps that you can set for the enemies there's a few different types of decoration so far Again, they can have more materials, always. More bugs, more areas, over time, with the LCs or with just like the normal release. Um, but trying to show off a bunch of different cool um, biomes here at the end. Got a decent amount of stuff already. Check out. I'm having a nice, wonderful time with it. I'm going to play a lot more. And come back for a serious actual review once the it releases. But right now it's sitting at a solid 7.2 with with some fields blank, of course. Um, just a few days after release, and I'm loving it. So I'll be back with it. I hope you stick around until then and see what I have to say then as well and i hope you check it out for yourself on xbox um it's free on game pass whether you have that for the xbox or the pc that's what this is for to get you to you know check stuff out and i'll catch you next time friends <laughs>